We're live. Of course, you knew that. We're you're, already breaking stuff. You're here. And we're, the camera down just a little more. <laughs> All right. So tonight, what do we have going on? Um, we're going to be announcing the giveaway winner in a little bit once we get through our thrift store haul. Um, we went thrift store picking. Our haul is not huge, although hiding below the camera is a very cool piece that we found and we're gonna show you using our real stain, which is an all natural water-based stain that's like my absolute favorite. And we'll talk a little bit about that piece and how I found it. And I think that's it. Hopefully everybody's having a good holiday. If you had Hanukkah, hopefully it was good. Christmas, how's it going at the Ray House? It's been a busy week. Um, we've got Christmas decorations done early, but we've been doing all of the final things. We what final things? We haven't done anything. Final Christmas. things like all the little shopping, like the kids we, are taken care of on all the big stuff. What shopping did you do? I've done some Amazon stuff shopping. Don't worry about it. Oh, we're we're not buying each other anything. Shh. <laughs> that's not a rule, is it? That it a is rule? a rule. We're going to Hawaii. That's our that's our uh, Merry Christmas, Happy <laughs> Birthday, Happy Anniversary. Um, no, we're excited. We've actually been having a pretty chill holiday season. I'm not one for the crazy hustle. Bustle. Today we did take the kids about an hour away. We went out to eat and we went to a place called uh, Young Living Lavender Farms. They have country Christmas. We got to see Santa, ride on a wagon, get some hot cocoa, get very cold. Yeah, it was out basically on a farm outside <laughs> and lots of snow all over and on the ground. Mud and slush. Jamie wasn't prepared for that, so none of us, we, none of the kids had the snow boots. And you know, as a dad, I don't worry about that kind of stuff. I'm like, yeah, we're in all, all in tennis shoes, whatever, let's go. <laughs> well, the problem is that the snow where we live is mostly melted, so I didn't even think about snow boots. And when the, we have, we have all the gear. So, but anyways, that was fun. It took up most of our day. We did manage to get some picking in. We're still kind of scaling it back. Yep. Because the shop is still very full. We've been running a sale at the shop, 25% off of all smalls. We've sold quite a bit. If you guys remember that giant rooster, it sold this week. It's gone. The buffalo plaid dresser sold today. Yeah. Woo -woo, which is like, um, and then also, was it this week also, the, or last week, that dresser that we did the texture on with oh. the apothecary and stuff, or the hutch sold. The hutch, yeah. In the shop. So slowly but surely this next week, I'm going to be offering 25% off of all my furniture in my space, which is the best deal I think I've ever offered because we're trying to really clear it out so that way I can start fresh for the new year. I've got some design ideas and it's a good way to year in close out. So try not to buy too much because we're trying to clear out. What are people saying? Everybody's saying hi. Alicia says she's painting up her thrift store finds as well, but can't find as good of finds as us. This is like the highlight of our pick this week, right here. <laughs> we, we haven't necessarily been struggling to find good things, but some of the pricing on stuff has been high. Um, I don't know if it's just the time of year or they got someone new in the back room pricing stuff. So we, we pass on a lot of things if they're priced too high, just because at, at the price point we want to be selling at after we finish things, it's just not feasible. It's not going to make us any money for our time. So we pass on a lot of stuff if it's priced too high. Yeah, and especially when I, we have a lot in stock, I'm less picky because I'm like, well, I already have this, that, whatever. So we try to do it. So let's get to showing them our finds. Let's talk right. about it. So this little horse, it looks like you peeled off some sort of sticker. Jamie washed this already. What was the price on this? Was this oh, $3? Yeah, but that's not the sticker that was the price tag. That's just an old sticker. Someone had a sticker on it. I'm going to use a razor blade. It had mud on it. That's why I washed it. Oh, gotcha. It's, it was actually being it was $3. used outside. So this little rocking horse was $3. Someone started painting it. It was going to be this beautiful green color. And then they gave up and took it to the thrift store where we found it and we will give it some new life. You know, it'll probably go well, one of two colors. It has a high chance of going apothecary or white swan. All right, so a few people say it's blurry. If it's blurry, hop back out and hop back in. I'm watching the replay on my iPad and it's pretty clear. So yeah. We're doing good. And Caitlin is not on tonight. It's just Zeb and I, so you don't have to bear with us. She is at, an, she's at a place called Evermore. Um, they're doing a Christmas Ooh. thing there. So yeah, so this little rocking horse three dollars. It will sell for about $19.95 It's a good size. Show them your forearm. Oh, yeah, so. forearm trick is this big. Yeah, so it's like a good it would actually be the perfect size for like uh, Like American Girl doll. Yeah, it's real close for like those 18 inch dolls. So 
So a lot of times people come in and they actually um, will buy furniture, chairs, things like that for their girls' dolls. Zeb's into clocks, so he'll tell you about So those. Jamie is, you know, just because Jamie doesn't like to have clocks in her house all over the place doesn't mean that people don't like clocks. I have clocks. We have one. We had two before we changed that one out. That's two clocks. All right. And I have a watch. <laughs> I like clocks. Zeb just loves the clocks, which is great because we sell them all. I would have like a big old wall of clocks because I think it's cool. But anyway, this was only $3. It's not very big, but I think painted up white, it's going to look really cool. And it was still working in the thrift store with a battery in it. I mean, how can you pass that up? And then I, I found his I like friend this one the best. right next to it that's already almost painted how we want it. This one just needs a battery. And they're both similar in size. Well, I was thinking it would be cute in the shop that one we painted that's tall, I don't think it's sold yet, to uh -huh. like stage them together because I like to do little groupings. Yeah. Well, I just like these because, you know, you, they, they can, this time of year, they're fun to put on a mantle or even they're small enough they can put on, be put on a shelf, even an entry shelf. This one here is, I mean, they're both narrow. So that was my thoughts on it. Painted up white or apothecary like we like to do and distressed, they're going to be real cool. Probably sell them for around 15 to 20 when they're done. No, these are definitely 1995ers. 1995ers. Okay. Oh, you get to tell them about this. But hold so, it up close so they, here, I'll hold it close. Yeah, so you can hold it. So I love little brass tins. I usually paint them. This one has feet. And if you look inside, the patina is really old and so on the bottom. I didn't realize it. This is from 19, I think it's 56. 1958. 1958. It's from Grammy. And the note says, Ma, Ma Duchesne, which is grandma, gave this planter at our apartment in on Bow Street. Beverly, the, our first apartment, stayed for summer, then married, no, then moved to the second apartment in Colton, New York. It had this note taped on the bottom, which I thought was really sweet. And on the note was price tag, which happens to be $1.50. And so this probably is like a 9 dollars and I'm not going to paint it because it looks like it's got... It's brass and it, I don't, can, could you, they see the patina on the outside too? Let me see if I can I do love it. the patina on the inside, but the patina on the outside is good too. So it's got, like, look at the feet there. It's like a little claw foot tub. But it had fake plants in it. Yeah. I, so. I actually took the fake plants out because they were pretty tacky and I just left them on the shelf for somebody else to buy. Because <laughs> I, I didn't want to bring them home. I'm trying to <laughs> decrease what I bring home. But this was really fun. I've never seen one with feet. So, and it says 201 on the bottom, it's stamped even. So, that was cool. So, we got this for the old frame. It's even got chunks and pieces of the plaster missing, but it is plaster, it's not resin. I yes. didn't realize that much plaster was missing. Uh, I may have just knocked it off when I dropped it just now. We'll find it and glue it back on. I was gonna say, that wasn't missing that much at the store. So this was $1.50. We mostly bought it for a frame. This is a print. It's not actually original or old. It's just a reproduction print. So we'll probably get rid of that just and, and put something newer in there. Um, but well, even Zed with this... broke the plaster off, I might have left it gold. No, I'm not seeing it. I, I think it was gone. Here, let me see how much plaster is missing. Sometimes I like to leave frames gold just the way they are. Quite a bit. No, that's quite a bit. So, so we'll paint it white and then bring some of that gold through. And that'll be pretty... That'll look good. And then maybe even do like a sign or something in there in the middle. Well, Sherry says she's seen a bunch of these through the years with feet. So it's not unusual in her area. I've never seen one with feet or known one from 1958. Most of yeah. them are like made in China from three years ago. Yeah, this one's stamped with a number 201. Oh, we're supposed to tell somebody happy birthday today. I'm gonna look that up while you talk oh, about that. Oh yeah, the look that up. We gotta do that shout out. <laughs> All right. You say that shout so, out. Next, we don't often buy books, but I was in the market for books today. I'm gonna bring these close too. So a lot of times when I'm looking at old books, I mean this one was a dollar, I'm looking at the spine, seeing how that is. I actually like a little bit of wear on them. And then I'm also looking at the coloring of the pages. I don't want it to be like a bright, crisp white. This was actually a, a school library book at one point. But, oh yeah, it's stamped. 
But that's, you, you'll notice on all these books, if you're going to be using them for decor, I mean, these are good books to read. The Young Folks Shelf of Books, you know, just around the corner. I'm sure it's a great story. I'm probably not going to read it, but it had, so I liked the elephant on the spine. Um, and then the gold with the blue and the gray, I liked that combo too. And then same with this one. I mean, I don't think I'm going to sit down and read a textbook of geology, but I liked this design here. I like how the red on the binding is kind of fading here and the color of the pages. I mean, this one's even got like a grease stain on it. So maybe don't go so close. It's getting a little bit blurry. Back here? I don't know. Sure. <laughs> anyway, so that's, that's what I'm looking for. Um, especially if they, for whatever reason, if they have like gold or silver um, text for the title, I like that a lot. So anyway, the three books, these will go in the shop and they'll look cool. Jamie will probably wrap them in twine or burlap or something. It's so, like $15 for a book stack. Yeah. They, we paid $5 for them. So yeah, so like this one was two, this one was two, and this one was one. We don't sell tons of books, but they look good on like a dresser just sitting there. Yeah, we like the colors. And Zeb's really into older books. So the basket, did you talk to him about the basket? I haven't talked about the basket it yet. It was $4 and it's pretty big. It could be used for a myriad of things. Blankets, somebody already mentioned blankets. Pillows, or it's very farmhouse now to have a basket full of pillows and blankets sitting next to your couch or underneath like a table or whatever. But also people use them for their Christmas trees. So they use them for like a base of their Christmas tree. They either put their Christmas tree inside of it or they would cut these handles off, flip it over and poke the Christmas tree through the top and this would be in lieu of a tree skirt. Oh, that's cool. And it's already got like this really cool whitewashed effect. It's got a little turquoise on it, so I'll just use a magic eraser, but I won't do anything to that basket. And that basket would be $19.95 in my shop. It's pretty big. So I saw, I glanced over and saw that uh, Soulful Essence had a question about a table saw. So give me a sec, bear with me. I'm gonna answer it real quick. It's the Ryobi saw. Play in the miter fence or the, uh, the guide fence there. I had the same problem. What I did was I just tightened the nut up on it a little bit and that way when I clamp it down, it stays pretty straight because a lot of times it'll want to veer to, on mine it wants to veer to the right when I clamp it down and that seemed to help pretty well. If I need it to be a really accurate cut, let's say I'm like putting a tabletop together, I will actually get in there and measure the distance from the front of the saw blade to the back of the saw blade and the, where they're at on the fence and make sure that those are perfectly aligned and then lock it down. It's, I mean, it's like a $220 saw. So it's kind of one of the things you get with that. I mean, short of spending five or $600, you're gonna, that's something you may just have to deal with, but measure it. If you need to make a real accurate cut, use, use some sort of measurement to make sure your fence is lined up right. For sure. If Zeb was still building farm tables on a regular basis, we would probably invest in a better table saw. When we bought it, the table saw broke in the middle of a project. We were also broke at the time. Yeah. We just bought what we could afford. And it's then... a great saw, but I don't know that I would do fine carpentry with it. Yeah, it, it, but you know what? It work, gets the job done. Yep, and I if, use it daily. <laughs> and if, if he was ever going to go back into that, we would probably buy a different one. But, you know, sometimes you do what you got to do. Um, Kyle Love one, which is... Um, she told us her name. She was Jan Janice. Janice Knight Jan said that in the, the baskets are way more expensive in the store. I would say a basket of that size in the store would easily be minimum forty to fifty dollars. Yeah, cheap. brand new. So I try really hard when I find these good baskets to make a good price on them, so that people feel like they're getting a deal when they come to my shop. Look how heavily used this is. It still has the little <laughs> plastic ring that holds the tag on. Well, sometimes people forget, like me. <laughs> oh, we have a mirror. Yeah, we have a mirror. Deb, were you going to show them how to repair that? Yeah, one? well, I don't know if I'm going to show them how. I'll walk them through what I will actually be doing, though. Did you figure out who needs to be wished a happy birthday? Oh, yeah, I did. And then you, you interrupted me. Sorry. I know. Sorry. It never happens that you interrupt me. It happens so, all the time. Happy, happy birthday, Jackie Russell Weimer. Her birthday is tomorrow on the 16th. Happy birthday. All right, I did it. Shout out. I'm not used to that, but we can do it. So this was marked $20 and also marked $8, but it was broke. So the manager said I could help for $8, but it is huge. See that? 
So what I'm going to have to do... It's probably about four foot. It's three. It's three foot. It's, it's like three by probably 22, somewhere in there. So I will probably sell this for $39.95 at least, or $49.95 because it's huge. So the frame on this is not wood. So what I'm going to have to do, it's got like some metal strip in here, and that has broken. What I'll do is I'll either use an epoxy... Wood glue would probably work, but I'll probably use an epoxy because what the epoxy is going to do, it's going to heat up and it'll actually bind this resin frame to itself again. And that'll work. I'll have to peel back this cardboard. I might have to put a new backer on it, but well, you put some corners. Yeah, I could it. do that too. You can take like really like a thin triangle plywood and make triangle corners that will help hold it together. Um, and you know, for $8, it's going to take maybe 15 minutes of Zeb's time and maybe 20 minutes of my time to paint it. And I'll sell that mirror. I mean, it's big, it's beveled. I'll probably sell it for 40 to $50. So it's a good markup for like a minimal amount of time. And mirrors, the other thing is mirrors sell flat, fast. Even when <laughs> you, you dancing around there, even when it, the shop is slow, my mirrors sell within a few days. So especially these kinds. Here, let me hold it up close so you can see the fun detail on the frame. Oh, knocking stuff the around. The kids were with us at the thrift store today, so they picked some toys. Oh, there you guys are. <laughs> but there's the uh, there's the detail on it, and it's it's it'll be fun painted. All right, so that's all the things we bought there, and then we have one more. It's down below if we want to show them that. We're gonna do a demo on it. Hence the Sherry, title. Sherry said mirrors don't sell in the co-op that she's in. Not all mirrors sell, but those kind with the big, thick, chunky edges that have a lot of detail. If I paint them white and I wet distress it so the detail comes back, we sell them pretty, pretty fast. Do you want to announce the winner of the paint? Let's announce the winner of the paint in a minute because I want to do the real stain. And I, okay. what if people are just here for the winner? We'll, make, we'll let a few more people jump on before we announce the winner. All right. And then we're gonna be done because it's Saturday and Christmas is in a week, nine days. Yeah, we've been scrambling. We only, we didn't even get five videos out this week. That's because we tried, but one video just didn't happen. You know, I'm a little sad about the last video. A lot of people have really loved it and thank you for your responses and, and your advice too on decoupaging. Um, I don't know if it's because it's Star Wars or we decoupaged a mid-century modern dresser or what it is, but the video has a lot of thumbs downs already and not very many views. And I think, like, we get asked all the time, can you guys do something for a boys' room? Because we do a lot of stuff for the girls' rooms and really, really uh, go, go wild on that. And so we're getting ready to do the boys' rooms, the two little boys, Jack and Redrick. And maybe I just need to change the thumbnail with like Jack and Redrick standing next to it, smiling. I don't know. It's just, it's weird. It's getting lots of thumbs downs and it's disappointing me. Sorry. Small rant. That's a bummer. Small, tiny little rant. <laughs> I'm like, wow, those are a lot of feelings about it. Like, you know what? It's, it's, we don't we, do stuff like that very often. <laughs> well, we always film whatever it is that we're doing. And the little boys are next. They're super excited about their room. They love that Star Wars dresser. So... That's really all that matters anyway, so we'll be back to our regularly scheduled programming soon, but we gotta get that room finished. All right, I'm gonna bring the camera down. You wanna give them the run through on the Real Stain and tell them why it's awesome? Mm -hmm. So Real Stain is, uh, you guys have probably seen us use it a few times, but we, ha we haven't really talked about it in a while. I'm shaking it because the pigment settles. It comes in a powder form, it's all natural, and it's food safe. It's the only product that we sell that's like a stain that is food safe, meaning you can stain cutting boards, you can stain rolling pins and make them look like older aged wood and then seal them with like butcher block oil or whatever over the top of it and that's totally food safe. This is real stain number two, hands down my most used stain. I just keep it in the fridge. It says it's good for four weeks, but I keep it six to eight weeks. After about four weeks, you know, it might start smelling, but it does, it goes away once it dries. And I love it because real stain number two is like the perfect brown gray. And we have a piece that I was going to show you guys. Yes, let me pull the camera back here so you guys can see it. Don't mind the chips on the oh, floor. The video is fuzzy. I don't know. But if you're watching the replay, it always fixes it. Okay. So sorry if the video is fuzzy, guys. All right. So this piece here is solid. It is oak. 
and it has a veneer of oak on the top, but then when I sanded the sides and the edges, it's also oak underneath the veneer. And it's heavy. Oh yes, my goodness. Yes, like the whole thing is oak, not well, just not just part. that, but the drawers are solid oak, and I can't pull it out. Well, maybe I can. Hold there's, there's a catch underneath. No, it's fine. Move your hand. No, there's a catch. There's a catch. There's a plastic catch. Oh, I don't want to break that. All right. Well, <laughs> just believe me that they are dovetailed in solid wood. They're, it's not antique, but it actually has the keyhole here. So it makes it look like it's antique. And it's solid wood. I paid $30 for this. And I think brand new. It probably retailed for somewhere around... You want to show them the keyhole? Yeah, I'm trying to find it there. It probably retailed for probably somewhere between $800 and $1,000 just to by the way, it's modern and it's solid wood, so. Like even the runner is not just glued on, usually they're glued on, this has screws I think in the runner. <laughs> it's more like a sofa table or something you would put underneath a TV. Because it, oh, it, um, it's not super tall. You can see like how tall the counter is to this. Anyway, so Zeb sanded it down and we're gonna use the real stain. Let me grab that. And we're gonna paint the base, but not live. This will get painted in white swan. Once this top is dry, we'll tape the top off, flip it upside down, Zeb will spray it white, but I will show you a picture in community. The cool thing is I spent $30 on this and this will sell for about 250, which whoever buys it is getting a smoking deal because it's so solid. And I couldn't heavy. buy this much oak for that much. No, the wood itself would cost more than $250, but we really try like to keep our prices good. So let me grab a rag and then we'll show what, what it looks like. So while Jamie's grabbing a rag, he's talking about the community tab. A lot of people know about it, so I might sound like a little bit of a broken record, but a lot of people don't know about it. If you hit the notifications bell, um, YouTube will send you a notification when we post in community. It's a place on YouTube, on our channel, where we can post pictures of projects, things in process, things we're doing, and we don't have to do like a full-blown video. It's, all, it's almost a little bit like Instagram. Hold on. Wait for it. But, so we'll put the finished post on there. It's been a minute since we've opened that. Yeah, it's like all dried <laughs> up around the seal. It's okay. Um, so we'll put the picture in community, so make sure you're hitting the notifications bell. Check all when it asks you what notifications you want to get. That way you're seeing the things. Some people say that they don't get the notifications right away. I don't know how to fix that. That's on YouTube's end, but eventually it will notify you. I'm going to bring you guys in close so you can see this, bring the wood grain out. And when it dries, it dries to a more like brownish gray and sometimes I will take and do like a white wash or a... uh, are we back we're breaking up now we're back I think we're back right. I don't know what's going on maybe maybe just leave the camera still and go check the oh, okay I'll go look at comments and see what people are doing can you guys see the table yep all right so this real stain, you can make it darker by doing multiple layers, or you can lighten it up by watering it down, which is great. And you can get a look out of it that's gonna, it's gonna change depending on the wood. Like this is a light oak. If you were using a cherry or a pine, the stain is gonna take different because it actually reacts with the wood itself as opposed to a traditional stain that sits on top of the wood. So, Pam Clayton, this is number two real stain. This is what our dining table is. Um, our dining table and our floors were a prototype, and so they were much lighter than this. But it, ours was a real stain number two. Our mantle and our coffee table are real stain number three, which I also like. All right. And I also do enjoy me some real stain number one. But real stain number two, hands down, the one I use the most. And it does only come in a quart, but you just store it in the fridge and you can use it on other product projects. Zeb, how are comments doing? Um, I'm just looking through to see what we missed because we were gone for a while. Mostly the buffering. Sorry, guys. Everybody's online shopping. Okay, I'm going to just wipe this down one more time and I'm going to go all in one direction so I don't get any schmears. And then we'll have to talk to them for a minute and let it dry because when it dries, You'll kind of see the color that it's going to become once the wood's not wet. 
So Chris asks, who makes the real stain? Um, it is a fairy chalk mother product. It's a fairy chalk mother product. You can pick it up at jamierayvintage.com. All right, I'm going to bring them back up top. It's not a super, like, there's not a lot of places you can buy it for, like, local retailers or whatever, but you can pick it up on our website. One of the things I didn't mention is this weekend until tomorrow night at midnight, we have free shipping on our website. But there are some nuances. One, if you can't have DIY paint in your order because DIY paint does not allow us to offer any incentives or markdowns online. So if you want to order DIY paint, and get the free shipping on everything else, just do it in separate orders. Do DIY paint in one order, and then do your other stuff in the other orders, and you'll get free shipping, and you'll only be charged for the shipping on the DIY. Um, we can't do it international, or else I'd have to sell a child, because <laughs> international shipping, we don't make money on it. It's just expensive to ship, so if I paid for it, it would probably cost me more than, the, than they were paying even for the product. Um, oh, and the Dever coffee table isn't included, because that thing is huge. Yeah. And I think it's like 48 inches long I think that's and 30 the only inches wide. But on <laughs> everything else, like if you ever just wanted to order just a paintbrush, this is a good deal because shipping, I think, on just one paintbrush is like $7.95 or $8.95. Well, you got to get to the 50 mark. Yeah. Oh, you, yeah. And that's the last one. Good thing you remember, you have to spend $50. It's all in the email that we sent out. And I also put it on stories. But yeah, so if you spend 50 bucks. You get free shipping, it doesn't include DIY paint, doesn't include international shipping, doesn't include the Deborah coffee table. And the way that we have to do it, so that way we can make sure it's not things that aren't supposed to be included, is we just refund you back within 24 hours, and it could take three to four, what are you laughing at? Three to four days to hit your account. I'm not laughing. Tom Fisher just wanted to eat an apple, and he doesn't have any apples. <laughs> oh. uh, on, Katrina, Katrina Watson asks... Tom, I got... Here you go. I think that's what he's talking about. You can see the apples back there. I'll eat it for you. Uh, Katrina Watson asked, have you ever glazed furniture? And then I have another question after you answer that. Have Are you seriously eating the apple and teasing Tom? It is so good. Well, finish your bite and then answer the question. Have I ever glazed furniture? You know the answer to that question. Yes, we have glazed furniture. <laughs> Jamie does not necessarily love dark waxes or, or glazing on our furniture. It's not necessarily... Her style per se. I don't want clean look, but I like yeah. it. But I always, if I glaze, I um, seal it first, then glaze. Or if I'm doing a dark wax, I do two coats of clear wax, then dark wax. Just gives me more control, so it's just in the details as opposed to all over in kind of a dirty look. But some people like dirty wax. I know? like it. I like a dark, heavy look on furniture. So you know, I'm like, let's glaze all the things. But we don't, and you know, we we sell lots of furniture that's not, so it's okay. Um, uh, the other question, it's not all about me. Ursula O'Brien asks, uh, where can I buy DIY in Victoria, Australia? Unfortunately, I don't think there are any local retailers There's anywhere none. in Australia yet. So the only people that ship there are us. So yeah, we're kind of your only option. We have had a few people order from Australia and it takes a little bit to get there and it is not cheap. So we usually recommend almost doing like a co-op style and getting a bunch of your friends together and splitting the cost of the shipping and then it works out. Catherine but, orders quite a bit from yeah. us and it's all made it there and it only takes usually like two or three weeks to get there as long as there's no delays yeah. in the shipping, which is much faster. We actually used to have a company that would take five to six weeks and now our international shipping is about two to three weeks on average as long as the product is available here and ready to ship. Now they want to know what Apple that is, what kind. Oh. It does look like a uh, like a Fuji one, like one of those. Hold on, no, it's not from Costco. It is. So Jackie Fuji. Jackie Weimer asks, "I just bought the liquid patina. Which is the better sealer, uh, that or Big Top? So they're different. They're different. Um, liquid patina is great as like a decoupage medium. It can be used as a sealer. It's a little bit shinier than the Big Top when it's dry." I think it is. It's not. I think it is. Liquid patina is more like a wax almost looking. It's more matte. I think it's more shiny. But you'll have to try it out. But the uh, the big top is is uh, it's thinner, so it, it goes on really nice and smooth. And you're going to get a little more coverage out of that, too, than you would the liquid patina just because it's thinner. The liquid patina covers just fine. It's just thicker. 
And to me, it looks almost like liquid wax. The thing I like about the liquid patina, I'll just throw this out there. I wouldn't spray it because it is thicker. Um, is that it's a transfer gel, meaning you can transfer images with it. We did a video on that last Christmas. And then it's also a decoupage medium and also a sealer. And it's not shinier than Big Tom. I think it is. We just used it and it wasn't <laughs> shinier. <laughs> it's a debate for another day. We're gonna do a side-by-side -side contrast comparison for you guys, all right? How's that sound? Done. <laughs> and it's Fuji, by the way, Fuji. And if I'm wrong, I won't make you lift any furniture for a whole week. I'll do all the lifting. Who's, who's gonna move it if I don't? I got the guns. Welcome to the gun show. I'll Yesterday, get... I arm wrestled my friend who I was pretty sure was stronger than me, and I won. We were at a festivus. All right, we're losing track of things here. We need to announce the winner of the paint. Okay, we'll announce the winner of the paint, and then we're gonna show you what the real stain looks like. Is it drying over there? It's starting to dry, yeah. Okay. Um, ba -bum -ba -bum. I screenshot the winner. I'm gonna have to text it to Caitlin. Her name is, and now her icon is a green with a J, so it doesn't have a picture, and her name is Joan Fisher. And she commented live yeah, on the video. So it wasn't anybody that commented that wasn't live. So it was, it was live and it was Joan Fisher. All right. So Joan is winning a quart of paint, a full-size big top, and a one and three quarters paint pixie brush. Joan, if you would, um, Deb, will you put this in the comments? Yes. Um, if you would email customercare at jamierayvintage.com with your um, address and your paint color choice, then we will get that mailed out to you ASAP. The last day for shipping to get stuff by Christmas is the 20th. In fact, um, Caitlin Jr., which is my high school girl named Caitlin that ships for me, has a package, tower of packages. We're working really hard to get everything um, shipped out. If for some reason, I'm just gonna tell you guys, if for some reason you cannot get your gifts ordered in time and it's past that date of getting it by Christmas, then go ahead and order a gift card and then you can let your person pick out what they want. I was gonna say something else, but I don't know. I think that's it. So don't miss out on the free shipping. If there's anything that you wanted and you haven't ordered yet or you need to stock up on paint, we're not gonna be running any sales till the new year. So it'd be a good time to get the things you need. And the, and if we've recently ran a sale, we're not gonna duplicate it. So what do we got? Are you putting that in there? Yeah, I'm trying to format it nice. All right, I think that's it. Do we miss anything, guys? Do we have any more questions? I feel like this is a short live, but I'm tired. <laughs> I could paint some stuff, but you guys have seen me brush before. We, Do you have questions on there? So let's give them, hang on, I am still haven't sent this. I know, I'm gonna finish it for you while you're talking. All right. <laughs> So coming up next week, we're going to be trying to knock out a few projects. We're going to be working on the boys' room. I definitely have to finish the buffet that I've been trying to get to for a couple of weeks now. So we're going to do the repairs on the buffet. And we're also going to paint that, the one that we showed. It's probably been three weeks ago now on our live video. i got to get it out of the garage. Um, so that's coming up next week. We're probably, are we going to do that in a chippy milk paint? What? The buffet. I don't know. Maybe. I vote yes. I vote chippy milk paint. Comment below if you want to see milk paint or like a like a chalk paint and and colors. Probably gonna go white. I'm not opposed to trying an apothecary or like a sweetie Jane color on it. I think it would be cool. I won't go white if I'm going milk paint because it's already painted white. So if you paint white over white, it's yeah. just gonna chip to the white. So okay, I've got questions though. All right. So what sealer did we use on the chalkboard the other day? So we used. Big top, but we're still messing around with the perfect mix to do a homemade chalkboard and not get ghosting. Because if you want to use the erasable chalk from IOD and you just use a store bought chalkboard, you're golden. But we're trying to get all the kinks worked out to give you the exact method of making a homemade chalkboard and using the erasable ink without ghosting. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. We just haven't had time to spend much time on it. Um, and then we had another question. Debbie said, What's a basic order recommendation? I would choose a paint, a sealer, and a brush. That's gonna be your best bet. And maybe a stamp if you're interested in stamping. And if you wanna get real crazy, tag on a brayer. Those are gonna be your basics to get started in crafting. And if you don't wanna invest in a whole quart, you can order like the uh, eight ounce size is a really good size if you wanna do a bunch of little ones. Yeah, I was gonna say, if you're wanting to get a bunch of colors, a lot of times people aren't, they're either doing blending or they're doing small projects. 
the eight ounce samples will do a ton of little projects like a ton of stenciling, a ton of stamping, and you also can even just paint like a whole like uh, nightstand or something about that size or a very small dresser with a sample. I have another question. Okay, another question. Uh, Mary Gardner says she has an old stained farm table that is inset with green tile and she wants to paint it white with DIY paint work. If it's really like shiny, I would suggest lightly sanding the tile yeah. with hand sanding it. Like with 220 like, grit. No, not 220. I yeah. do 120. I do 220. I do 120 because you're gonna be all day with you. We are not agreeing tonight. I know. And then you could use DIY paint, but I would use Fairy Chalk Mother's High Bond Paint Primer. That stuff is money. It's money, I'm telling you. It's awesome. It works on tile. Paint it with a high bond primer. Wait a few hours, then use your DIY or the Fairy Chalk Mother, whatever you want over it. But definitely if I was painting tile, I would start with that high bond primer because it's amazing. Okay, okay let's see if I have any other questions? While you're oh, looking for questions. Oh, IOD letter stamps. So the we are oh, out the type of typesetting, set. but it, somebody asked which ones are lowercase and uppercase. Typesetting is both. We have ordered more, and if you have subscribed to our newsletter, the second those new ones come in, we will let you guys know because those are popular and they are sold out. And the manufacturer is sold out right now, so we can't even get them right now. So the way you subscribe to the newsletter, if you are not, you go to the website, and as soon as you log into the website, like a fresh page on your web browser, it will ask you if you're not already subscribed, hey, do you want to subscribe and get email notifications? That's the best way to find out if we're having a sale, special, <clears throat> like all the people that are subscribed got notified immediately as soon as we sent the email out that we were doing the free shipping um, deal over the weekend to celebrate the National Free yeah, Shipping Day. Yeah, it's National Free Shipping Day. That's why we, we're doing it. We're participating. All right, okay, before you so do any more questions. Well, I can talk. You can show them. All right, I want to show Les them how great it is. Les wants to know if we finished painting the hallway. Yes, I haven't. <laughs> I'm, I have On the stain, can you mix as needed? No, you have to mix the whole amount up, but you can keep it in your fridge. They darken up just a hair when we seal it, but that's about what it's going to be. You can see the contrast between this dark color down below and this almost like a weathered oak type look. And if you wanted to do, you could even do like a fun like whitewash on this. And then that would almost make it look like uh, like beech wood or something. So Pam Clayton said, the real stain is a powder. Yes, it is with instructions. You mix it with warm water and make it up. Uh, somebody asked if I've ever used chalk couture. I have, it worked, it worked okay. Um, I don't have any qualms about it. I don't. I haven't used it a ton. It actually originated in Utah, and I'm friends with one of the original designers, so I've known about it for a lot of years. It's not my favorite, just because I like to use what I like to use. <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with it. It works pretty good. Um, my friend across the street had a, a shirt making party, and we used it. Okay. Um, somebody asked a question. All right, two more oh, questions. Do we think by <laughs> next Christmas the same signs and stencils will be in demand and popular? I do feel like yeah. if you're doing things that are classic, so the IOD stamps are very classic and timeless, so absolutely. Absolutely. IOD is really good. They with also design. fit in really well with like French country themes. Yeah. The stencils that we're designing for our new line that's coming out in January are also going to be things that I've been using design wise for probably the last five to ten years so i'm trying to come up with some classic things we're having a lot of fun zeb i'm i'm drawing it out and then zeb's putting it on the ipad and we're digitizing it and our manufacturer is working with us and it's really exciting so that's kind of fun and we also are going to be coming out with large word cutouts if you guys saw my instagram post the other day i was doodling my hand lettering all of our word cutouts are actually going to be my lettering so they won't be a font that you can get anywhere else so that's going to be really fun yeah. And those you'll be able to use like paint and put on your wall or make a sign or put it on a wreath. So that's going to be really Here, fun. let me show them real quick. I'll show them. Okay, hold on. Let me have a question. I missed it. Well, we'll come back to the questions. I okay. just want to show you guys this real quick because it's right here. This is Jamie's handwriting and I brought it into the sketch pad here. And it's a little bit rough once I take it to and actually do like a bitmap path on it. It'll look a little better. But... So there, there, that's going to be, that's Jamie's handwriting there. And it's kind of loose and free and looks like it was handwritten. And that's really what we're going for. We want like that fun kind of handwritten, hand drawn up sign. 
So we're probably going to get this in stencil. You think we'll do that so in this a stencil? Will come, yeah, I don't know when it will be released in stencil form. I need to talk to my manufacturer and see what's coming out in January. But the hand lettering will be available right away, probably in the next few weeks, in the word cutouts. But then we're also going to have them in stencils. And then some of the hand lettering and things that I'm doing is going to be specifically for our subscription group that is coming out in January. Yeah. So Zeb and I are working on a lot of projects all, all at once. But we're trying to really make it unique to us and something that is not like that we saw somewhere else. That's our actual artwork. Zeb has some prints that he's working on that he's drawing and doing some digital watercoloring. So if you guys haven't heard about it, we have in January, we're starting a subscription group. We'll tell you more about it probably in the next week or so. And it's going to include special videos, printables, information, discount codes, and it's like five bucks a month. And we're hoping that it's a way that people, especially that are in the business, can take what we're giving them and turn it into lots of revenue. And every month you'll get a chapter of the book that we've been writing. So lots of fun things. Um, in our last live, somebody asked us what our channel would have in 2019. And that is where we are headed with our channel. So do we have any more questions? Yeah, Kim, Kim Lace asked, I think she's asking, does Fairy Chalk Mother build up like DIY? Um, not as much because it is self leveling. However, you can blend with it. We have a video called blending paint for beginners and I actually blended using fairy chalk mother and I believe DIY because I use simple stage and I think white swan and I blended them. So you can blend with it. It is self leveling, but leveling, but it's not clay based. So if you want to like build it up and get like that thick, chunky clay texture that is unique to DIY. The reason why we carry both is because not everybody enjoys a thick, chunky texture. Some people want a more smooth, traditional chalk type paint finish, and that's what you're going to get with Fairy Chalk Mother. It sprays really well, and it is self-leveling. And the color selection is second to none. I don't think there's another paint line out there <laughs> that has as many colors for furniture as Fairy Chalk Mother. No, she there's really hard on those. Sorry, Tom. I don't know what's with the buffering tonight. Hopefully, it, uh, on the replay, it smooths out and figures itself out. So I don't know. I'm, I'm going to stop moving the camera. I don't think that's helping anything. So we'll... Did they like the color of the stain? I didn't see the comments. Did you guys like uh, the color of the, the real stain number two once you saw it dry? They're saying it's beautiful. Oh, good. I'm glad. I will share the picture of that finished on community as well as Instagram and Facebook and in our Facebook group. So hopefully you guys can see that all finished and staged up really cute. It's not gonna, how long did it take you to sand it? Maybe like half, 20 minutes? Uh, it was 20 minutes. It was on there pretty good. I just used 80 grit sandy paper on the orbital sander and uh, it came right off. And then it'll probably take us maybe half hour to spray it. And then yeah. it'll be ready to go spraying it. Oh, it's a Jack cameo. Jack, did you want to say hi before you go to bed? Yeah. He's got a black eye. He fell. His, his brother oh, or what had it happen? Frederick headbutted him. Oh. Hey, Jack, tell, what did you tell Santa that you want for Christmas? Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels? The, the little car Hot Wheels? Mm. Yeah. Were you excited to see Santa today? What else did you see? Did we see reindeer? Yeah, we saw reindeer. Sally, the no shipping does include but milk paint I, and stains. You just need to get over $50 and then we'll reindeer. refund you back your shipping. Reindeer. Oh, we didn't see we didn't see Rudolph, but we have a dancing Rudolph that we have here, huh? Yeah. All right, can you tell everybody bye? Bye. And tell them that they if they want to use these products, they can go to where can they buy the products? They can buy at your Jamie Ray shop. Jamie Ray shop, JamieRayVintage.com, huh? And make ask see if they ask them if they want to subscribe. Do you want to subscribe? And what should they give us? What? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. All right, guys. guys. See you next week. Can you say bye? Bye. All right. Hold me to the uh, the buffet repairs because I've been kind of putting it off. We've been finding other projects to do in between. So if if you uh, if you're commenting, I see all the YouTube comments on any video. So just be like, Hey Zeb, did you get to that buffet yet? I want to see the buffet. <laughs> all right, guys. We'll catch you later.